five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition. And lift off. Lift off of an Atlas V rocket and Landsat 9, continuing the legacy of an irreplaceable 50-year record on our ever-changing planet. When you're sick, who is the first person you call? It's probably your family physician, right? All the while you're sick and recovering, you're constantly under check, and let's face it, that care is one of the most important things you need to get you back on track. But what about the place we live in? Oh no, we're not talking about your house. Every single one of us is aware of the huge risks and problems we're facing because of climate change at this very point of time. How many times have you heard elders around you say, it was never this hot at this time of the year, or the air is too cold, it was never like this before. All of these teeny tiny changes might seem tiny, but they're all just symptoms that prove that the earth is sick. Unlike as though it doesn't have a physician. Or does it? Well, it may have just gotten a new physician this September. Most of you know by now that we're talking about the Landsat 9. Launched just last month, the satellite is supposed to monitor the Earth's health. It's supposed to be assisting to manage the natural resources and to make science-based decisions to combat climate change. What does this mean? More importantly, what is the Landsat 9? How does it work? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, and today we're going to talk about how Landsat 9 is going to change our world forever. Let us begin with a very obvious question. What is the Landsat 9? The Landsat series is not new. It has been here for years, precisely speaking since 1972. Since then, it has helped us in measuring several changes across our planet. According to NASA, Landsat satellites give us a global perspective of how Earth is changing. That change could be due to natural causes like earthquakes or due to human-caused drivers like greenhouse gas emissions that lead to warming temperatures on a global scale. Just as an example, the changes we're speaking of include the speed of Antarctic glaciers, track water use in crop fields, and monitoring deforestation in the Amazon rainforest. Overall, these are all important environmental issues that need serious tracking and attention from our part, and the Landsat series plays a major role in this. At this point of time, NASA is operating the Landsat 7 and Landsat 8 in an orbital pattern every 16 days, with the two spacecraft offset so that each spot on Earth is measured by one or the other every 8 days. As explained by the agency itself, quote, As the Landsat satellites orbit, the instruments capture scenes across a swath of the planet that is 185 kilometers wide. Each pixel in these images is 30 meters across which is about the size of a baseball infield, or more important for resource management, an average U.S. crop field. So why is Landsat 9 gaining so much attention? Well, to start with, the Landsat 9 is loaded with cutting-edge tech, can trace more color shades with greater depths, all of which will definitely make it easier for scientists to gather more details about the planet. The satellite comes with two major pieces of equipment something called the Operational Land Imager 2 and a Thermal Infrared Sensor 2. These instruments will help in measuring different wavelengths of light on Earth's surface. In simple words, OLLI 2 has the capability to trace the light that humans cannot see. It captures the sunlight that hits the Earth's surface to understand the visible infrared and near-infrared portions of the spectrum. On the other hand, TIRS-2 is used for understanding Earth's surface temperature and it comes with telescopes and photosensitive detectors that help in capturing thermal radiation. Both of these will capture images across a large distance of 185 kilometers while the satellite will be in its orbit. Apart from the advanced technology, Landsat 9 is a first-of-its-kind venture. It's actually a part of a joint mission by NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey. Remember when we started this video by mentioning climate change? Turns out, Landsat 9 has a really important role that can help us understand, and if we work on it, turn the situation around a bit as well. Researchers can indeed predict if regions are under threat via the images produced by Landsat. Let's explain how this works. For example, in case of a drought or forest fire somewhere, Landsat images will help with details on the intensity of the event. The satellite is also programmed in such a way that it would even intimate if there's a chance for an algal bloom to attack water bodies. According to NASA, scientists are now even developing computer programs that would use Landsat and other satellite data to automatically warn lake recreation managers when blooms pop up. 
and that's just on a tiny scale. On a large scale, Landsat 9 can track the patterns and movements of melting ice and icebergs in the Arctic and Antarctica regions, which is one of the biggest looming threats for the planet. This in turn will help researchers better evaluate the severity of the climate crisis. If a forest is affected by drought, it will definitely be seen in Landsat images and can help the researchers decode the areas at risk. Similarly, in case of a wildfire, the Landsat images will capture the plumes of smoke and help study the extent of a burning. We may also use these images to help recovery experts plan sites for replanting. Landsat 9 is also supposed to differentiate natural and human caused change, which might make us aware of how responsible we all are for Earth's deteriorating condition. The satellite gets in touch with the ground station every few hours to offload its data. As Karen St. Germain, Director, Earth Science Division at NASA headquarters puts it, quote, for nearly 50 years, Landsat satellites observed our home planet providing an unparalleled record of how its surface has changed over timescales from days to decades. Through this partnership with USGS, we've been able to provide continuous and timely data for users ranging from farmers to resource managers and scientists. This data can help us understand, predict, and plan for the future in the changing climate. Thankfully, the Landsat 9 data is freely available, or rather, has been available for more than 10 years, which means you or I can easily access the images it captures and sometimes even the analysis through the NASA website. This will be a great help if you're setting up a business that's directly or indirectly linked to climate changes. Farmers can identify the type and distribution of major crops across the globe, measure how agriculture is expanding or shrinking in remote regions, monitor crop health and the condition of pastures and rangelands, and accordingly make decisions. Such food commodity forecasts may even help us anticipate global or regional food shortages even before it happens. In other words, planning for aid and relief will thankfully become even easier. Over the years, the Landsat series has been a huge help to researchers, policy analysts, glaciologists, and seismologists, and with the Landsat 9 being the most advanced of them all, we're pretty sure that it's going to be an even bigger help. This most technologically advanced satellite of our generation or what we're calling the Landsat 9, was successfully launched on September 27th from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Hopefully, with an advanced position for our planet, we will be heading in the correct direction for the coming years. If you love this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, what do you think of the Landsat 9? Do you think it'll be helpful in monitoring the changes happening across the world? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll be back very soon.